Welcome to the 777-10 MAX aircraft. The, uh, the MAX series of aircraft can be distinguished easily by the large display formats we have with common display system for the, uh, as in the 787 and on the 777X. The large displays give us much better situational awareness and the ability to display additional information. We've got the, cockpit, the uh, airport moving map that we can see and just a large format where we can see further down range on our route and have a large area. On the primary flight display, we've got the larger horizon line that goes past the airspeed and the altitude tapes, which give us a much bigger situational awareness of the attitude of the aircraft, and that was introduced in the 787. So a lot of the improvements that have been brought into the 787 and the 777X in the display system, the information that's available to the pilots to help them with their overall situational awareness and comfort in the flight deck and doing their job have been brought into the 737 family on the MAX. Yeah. Are you are you gonna certify the airport? Right now? Uh, no. Okay. Not not as based on that. No, no, no. It's this whole separate project. It's just riding along. No, interesting. Very cool. It's because it's interesting from a human factor perspective. Think about you know what, how that works. And what um, what piles are used in terms of the big chunk of keys and all that. How, how does it how does it function? Is it sort of? Oh, it, it works sort of, sort of identical to. Yeah, it functions identically to mechanical CD. Okay. So you can see the button layout is all exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, but of course, it gives you the ability to, to you know, modify and change options without part number swaps. So it's a common part number. Um, and you know, touch screens and the versatility and the. Um, as far as versatility and flexibility and, you know, and cost sync with the uh, common part numbers, that's kind of where everything's going now. Yeah. There's a new 350 with the touch screens, the 7 x with the touch screens, yeah. so it's all kind of going that way. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting two of them fairly soon. Uh, but potentially, right? I think yeah. a similar touch screen technology is going to the 7 x when we looked at the 7 Oh, interesting. Oh, very cool. Well, yeah, it's, it's interesting to, to kind of, I, I mean, like a generation of pilots that was used to, you know, seeing the big needle. These bins so that they can stand upright. These are called space bins, super big, so that every passenger there has a place to keep their luggage on board. It removes that what we call bag bag anxiety because people want to know, like, where's my you know where's my stuff? And by having these large bins that pivot up into the ceiling, that gives us the advantage of adding space for passengers and still giving them that sense of spaciousness. Bins. So these are, we have these, and all all the members of our family have these. Triple Seven X. I don't know if you were there before. They have them, but then they're they're, they're con. This is my convex or concave. They're this one. Concave. Ours go. They are the ours go this way. So. Yep. So we go further. Is this okay? Is this, is this, yeah, that's fine. This we can. You can tell us more about the special features of this uh, aircraft. This is the this is the test. This is a test that we have. And if you're interested in, would you like to know a little bit about? This is all. These are all test equipment. Are you interested yeah. in the test equipment? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, you want to talk about the test equipment? For sure. So out here we have all of our instrumentation racks, and pretty much what we do here is analyze the aircraft's uh, measurements and data for performance and systems during flight tests. So we do that all out here. This airplane flew from Seattle. Iceland? Iceland. Yeah, we stopped in Iceland yeah. first and then came here. Uh -huh. Now, I'm, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> so over here, this is a, remember this is a 737-10, and this is a door that we added that allows us to see anywhere from 176 to 230 passengers comfortably. And so we want to make sure that this, that this airplane suits the needs of the customers and there are a lot of carriers because you know air, airports are a little more crowded than they used to be to be able to carry more passengers so we made a flexible system so that with this door here they can configure the flight they can configure the cabin for any number of passengers up to 230 
which is really which is really quite good. Great. It's, what, it's what the airlines want. They want to do what the airlines want. Now we're going to stand here, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> so a couple of things. First of all, that that green wall back there. That's called the bulkhead. It's flat. A lot of airplanes it's dome. So we want to leave more room for the and before you go out, the noise, there is a separate little engine in the back that does run the air conditioning. And so the, the, where the air goes in is right there. So I think it's really exciting because it's kind of this cool airplane noise, but don't stop on the top of the stairs. Just walk all, just walk all the way down. There are some things on the outside too that I'd like to I'd like to show you about. If you want to go down and take a few pictures. Sure. I'll see if other folks have questions and then I'll come out and we can talk a little more. Okay. Is that good? Yeah.